by 8 April 2024, which is the Monday, all mobile network operators who are essential to the national financial regulation strategy will also be expected to ensure that their customers can effortlessly transition from Zimbabwe dollar wallets to SIG wallets. <coughs> Domestic pricing of goods and services. Once the local currency is denominated in ZIG, all domestic traders are expected to consistently modify their pricing systems in line with the currency default, with immediate effects. Prices for goods and services shall be converted using the conversion rate that I mentioned earlier on. And thereafter, what did you see for the transacting public units? Within seven days from today, all entities other than banks and MNOs are expected to have completed the configuration of their systems for that business. See, shall at all times be fully anchored and fully backed by a composite basket of reserves comprising foreign currency. Precious metals may be gold, received by the Reserve Bank as part of in kind royalties and kept in the vaults of the bank. Foreign currency balances will be accumulated through market purchases from the 25% surrender, as well as sale of some precious metals that may not have been received to the public for example, platinum. As of today, 5th April 2024, the Reserve Bank's reserve asset to hold it comprised plus or minus 100 billion US dollars in Nostro balances. This is foreign exchange that we already hold. We also have 2,522 kilograms of gold with 185 million, of which one ton of that gold is held also in the balance of this onshore. Those of you who were here yesterday, you would have seen that out of the need for transparency and also for me to confirm this incident that I have taken over what Dr. Mabuja left in the center of Bank. We opened the vaults of the center of Bank and you were able to see the gold that we are holding. I saw that on social media, some of you were saying, oh, only got 2.5 tons of gold, you were converting it and coming up with a number and converting it to import card. And then I say to myself, are these people real economic analysts? Don't they know that Zimbabwe is 80 to 85% dollarized? Therefore, we already have 85% of the money circulating in this country as foreign exchange before we even factor what is going to be converted to cities. As it stands currently, our entire local currency component of reserve money, which is what we get, reserve money in Zim dollars, as it stands, is at 2.6 trillion Zimbabwe dollars. If you convert that at today's closing price, it will give you the closing interbank savings. Uh, it will give you almost. 80 million US dollars. Now, let's put the next. I told you that I've got 100 million in cash in most of the And I've got 185 million worth of gold. Total 285 million. This entire market, the same dollars that are circulated, are worth 80 million. And two times come. So, as I said to the vendors early this morning, if you want to tell me, you want to bet against the dollar, it's game on. <laughs> because I will buy oil in your local. And then, when I talk about the other measures that are coming in, when you're desperate for that zip, I'll send it to you at my price. All prices of goods and services and any other denominated obligation. So if you owe someone or someone owes you a million. Zimbabwe dollars, it is converting into zip. You 
don't want someone saying, I own this Zimbabwe dollars, and it's not my sis, so I won't pay you. It's going to contract. On conversion, all current Zimbabwe dollar balances, of all current Zimbabwe dollar balances, banks are directed to rename all the Zimbabwe dollar accounts as SIG account. In other words, what used to be RTGS and operating under the RTGS platform is now SIG. Gold back digital tokens accounts, which were previously known as SIG, will no longer be known as ZIP, but will be known as Gold Bank Digital Token Accounts or GBDT accounts. So there is that demarcation. Gold Bank Digital Tokens are not the ZIP currency. They are an investment instrument as they have always been. All Zimbabwe dollar notes and coins held by account holders will be credited into their ZIP accounts using the applicable conversion rate, conversion factor. The banks will continue to accept these deposits for a period of 21 days after today. The Reserve Bank has made special arrangements for those in the outlying areas who may not have bank accounts and we have uh, uh, made arrangements with POSB and uh, AFC Commercial Bank and they will take their cash to these banks and thus that cash will be converted for SIG. However, KYC will apply. If anyone is going to bring notes worth above $100,000, we need to know where you got it and why you've been keeping it. This is usual KYC requirement. Issuance of new banknotes and coins. Zip coins are going to be issued, zip notes and coins are going to be issued in denominations of 1 zip, 2 zip, 5 zip, 10 zip, 20 zip, 50 zip, 100 zip, and 200 zip. And then for divisibility, we are also going to have coins, which will be half a zip and a quarter of a zip. To complement that, because as I said earlier on, we've been having a problem of change where someone, because one seat when they wake up to Africa is going to be equal to six US cents. If we leave it at one seat, it means the smallest thing you can buy will be for six US cents. So we need to take <coughs> that down, down to one seat into smaller coin denomination. This is the new currency, it's specimen, so <coughs> I think you're going to spend it one way. But you can pass it around so that people can see. And you can add this every bag after. <laughs> 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 this is the new currency. Yeah. Yeah. The amount of the central bank is there to ensure that all legitimate transactions go through. I just said we have enough forex to cover all the Zimbabwe dollar balances here. Assuming that all the Zimbabwe dollar balances in Zimbabwe are going to be just in forex for legitimate transactions, we have enough forex. So if you want to go to the barrel market, I don't know why you are going there and what for, because you can still go to a bank and take the forex. So I'm not going to be fighting the barrel market. To me, it's an illegal market and I don't see how it's going to disrupt because anyone with a genuine legitimate need for forex will have that need satisfied. Uh, the evidence says uh, we have 80 million worth of Zimbabwe dollars in the economy. Uh, why are we doing all this to protect only 80 million? We are doing what we are doing to ensure that our local currency does not die. As I said, we were already in a situation where almost 85% of transactions are being conducted in Israel because our local currency was not giving, was not giving up to the function of store value. We are going to restore that function of store value so that we can start reviving our currency. So we are starting at 80 million worth, and as we get more reserves, we will gradually be moving towards uh, 
greater use of the local currency. It is my wish that currently we are at 820. If we can get maybe to the year at 88, 78, the next year 60-40, the year after 50-50, by the time you get to 50-50, people will be different as to which currency they are using. And that way we regain use of our local currency. Blessed says the uh, prices will be fluctuating daily, but exchange rates by their nature are moving on a daily basis. But one does not expect the volatility to be such that it will cause massive disruption. Uh, we will have a basket comprising of gold, comprising of other precious minerals, comprising of foreign currencies. And this is how exchange rates are always uh, if you go into any country. Unless you have a fixed exchange rate system, the exchange rate is bound to change when it is. Uh, forex auction was disbanded. Why? Well, it was disbanded because you have always said you want a market determined foreign exchange system. So, you know, you what you want. And so, you ask me why. Thank you.